guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I am your host, Bastion. This is Nintendo News. Let's get to that news. There was a ridiculous... I, I mean, I keep going on and on, like in every video about modern video game journalism, but it's just ridiculous because this guy put out this article saying, hey, remember that Zelda live-action series that was coming to Netflix? Uh, well, now it's coming to Amazon. And um, that there's just so much wrong with that. So, anyways, I I saw this article on Go Nintendo, and Go Nintendo's source was this one guy's blog, just some random guy's blog. So, Go Nintendo, you should really you should really check your sources a little bit. But in any case, I go to visit this random guy's blog, and he's. <sighs> It's very little information. He just states all of these things. He doesn't say where he got this information from. He doesn't have a source listed. He, he, it's just like he's inventing this stuff. And so then some people in the comments were like, so who's the source? And he's like, I'm the source. That's why it's an exclusive. And then people down in the comments were like, well, where is this information coming from? Sure, if it's an exclusive or whatever, who is this an exclusive from? Is it from Nintendo? Is it from Amazon? And he had no response, and then uh, suddenly updated it and said, Oh, whoops. Huge error. This is about a series coming to Amazon called Zelda about Zelda Fitzgerald. So, this is my problem with modern gaming journalism, is he just saw the word Zelda, didn't do any research whatsoever, just assumed this must be The Legend of Zelda, and then posted this article that spread out there across the internet saying, hey, that Netflix thing is actually going to Amazon now, and why not do, why not spend just a moment doing a little bit of research? Because tons of people in the comments were like, dude, this is obviously the much talked about Zelda Fitzgerald series coming to Amazon not The Legend of Zelda. Like, people were in the know way before he was, and uh, that's supposedly the whole thing of his site is, his site is about like knowing what the new pilots, the new TV shows are gonna be. Um, so in any case, very frustrating that nobody seems to do any research or source checking in modern video game journalism. Our next story is about the fact that Nintendo apparently almost launched the Wii U with an F-Zero game for the Wii U but that a prototype was shown and somebody didn't like it on one of those two sides and so it was canned. So, no F-Zero game for the Wii U. And then our final story for the day is about Dragon Quest VII and about the fact that still, like, two years later, we don't have the 3DS game here overseas and so fans have started to do a fan translation, as many of them done, and I have enjoyed many French fan trans... And I have enjoyed many fan translations in my day. The sequel to Secret of Mana, never got an official translation, so the only way to play that game in English is with a fan translation. The same has been the case for some East games, which have since had actual uh, official translations, but back in the day they didn't. Um, so tons of games, the only way you can play them in English is with a fan translation. So it's not... Uh, it's not an uncommon practice. So, a team was working on a fan translation for Dragon Quest VII, and then Square Enix sent them a cease and desist. Now, the reason why I made a point of mentioning all those other games having had fan translations is none of those games received cease and desists, and none of those games have eventually had official translations, like, um, for The Frog the Bell Tolls has never officially come out in English, um, you know, Secret of Mana 2 has never officially come out in... So my point is, if those games never did come out and never got cease and desist, the fact that Square Enix is sending a cease and desist to this team probably indicates they are planning on doing an official translation, I hope. So, it sucks for that team who's doing the fan translation, but I'm very much looking forward to playing the official Dragon Quest VII in English on the 3DS is going to be great. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Nintendo News. See you guys tomorrow for more news. Bye, guys.